have you bought a cheap i mean pretty cheap pm 800 condenser mic and it sounds like this crash and you are thinking that you have wasted all your money and now you are screwed up <laughs> if yes <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa wait don't need to throw it away Here I am to help you. So, let's go again. In case you don't know each and every mic you buy from whatever place, it has its own noise. You don't need to be a science student to understand this. We we have Earth and Earth has an atmosphere. And in the atmosphere, all electromagnetic waves are jumping around everywhere, creating the noise in your microphone called white noise. In case of the most of the streamers, they use an external preamp device to cut this noise and get the clean input to the system. But we can do it without any further cost in two ways. This is the part one. So if you have a NVIDIA GTX series graphics card and at least 8 gigs of RAM in your system, then NVIDIA's RTX voice software is gonna be a great deal for you. As for me. Yeah, I'm not joking, you don't need an RTX card to run RTX voice or you don't need to go through any vigorous code editing. I have an NVIDIA GTX 1660 Super, uh, 16 gigs of RAM and one of the cheapest PM800 mic and it sounds good, I mean pretty decent, enough quality, so let's do it. So first of all, jump onto you, the Google Chrome and head over to this website, link will be in the description below so here here we are using a third party website to downloading rtx voice because you know recently nvidia released their nvidia broadcast app where they have added this art nvidia rtx voice feature inbuilt in the software plus they have added some you know webcam modification anyway so as we have in this website what the f okay so as we have in this website so just simply click on download now and started downloading so once you got it downloaded just open it and double click it and obviously yes and so it's running checking the compatibility yeah it's compatible and just install simply install it and you're done easy now uh, select your default microphone here I mean input device and clicking on this checkbox you can even adjust the noise and suppression level by this and here click on the output device and even you can uh, suppress the output noise I mean signal coming out from there so after you have installed the RTX voice you can set the that RTX voice uh, to any device you I mean to any recording software you are using you will find this rtx voice option like i'm searching here sound sound setting look at that uh here the input i'm giving it's microphone nvidia rtx voice so uh, let's see that how rtx voice makes a difference from non-rtx voice so obviously we have this software look at that here i have done the full noise suppression 100 percent here so it sounds like this and now i'm gonna turning this suppression to zero and there we go it's sounding like this and if we again turn it on and it sounds like this cool right so and now you have to manually select nvidia rtx voice as your default audio interface in every application you are gonna opening so here i'm using the GeForce experience to record this so here I had to set uh, this audio audio input device as NVIDIA RTX voice similarly in Streamlabs you you can set uh, NVIDIA RTX voice as your audio interface from the settings and from the audio tab and select RTX voice uh, that's pretty much everything uh, if, and if you want to communicate using this mic in in game so for some games you have to manually set it in the in-game settings and you'll be good to go so what rtx voice does is actually they use your graphics card power and your ram power to perform an artificial intelligence task which automatically cancels the background noise like uh, like it's raining outside someone screaming behind you someone blowing horns ambulance pretty much every worst noise you can possibly think now 
what if if you don't have any graphics card i can understand you so stay tuned for the part two that's all i got for you today if this video makes any sense to you give a like uh subscribe uh follow me on my so all social medias to get contact with me if it, you're facing any problem and join my discord server okay that's all uh good night good luck stay safe wear the mask don't ignore the covid uh love you guys bye bye